make it found. Um, so you want it to be, if it's bulky, that's one thing. Rattles, you can also use poppers. So if you want to go on the surface, what I would often do is use one of these crafty deceivers or a other deceiver, just put a piece of a foam plug with a piece of tube put through it. I think that's a Q-tip from the dollar store. And the cheaper ones at the dollar store are better than that are in the big bulk bag all tangled together. They have the best tube fly material in them. Uh, the ones that are blue and lined up nice and neat, not very good at all. Um, but anyways, put that on the front of the fly and you've got a popper. Um, works good. So you need to it to be to shed water. Uh, something I learned early on in our musky fishing adventures is beware of the bunny. Um, so rabbit fur has a phenomenal action in the water. But once you try and bulk it up beyond about a four to five inch long fly, you can go to the double bunny and put it top and bottom, way to go. But once it gets beyond that, um, it's just like casting a wet sock. So uh, beware of the bunny. Um, and sometimes marabou, it'll also hold water. It looks great in the water, but there's a size limitation to effective fly casting with, with materials that will, uh, will hold water. Uh, bucktail sheds water well, all, almost all the synthetics do, unless the synthetics are packed tight. Uh, and then it's the bulk of the synthetic versus the water that uh, causes the issues. Uh, air resistance is another thing. So um, even though this is, this is quite a bulky fly, you could blow through it um, so it doesn't have that extra bulk. Um, like it, it, like it's, it's not air resistant. And then physical weight. So the shanks do add some weight. Uh, when I start putting big cone heads and hourglass eyes on a fly, that adds weight. Uh, a six odd hook is weight, uh, especially if it's a heavy wire saltwater version. So those are all things you want to consider in the casting of the fly. And then another one is hooking ability. So bigger hook gaps are better, stronger hooks are better, so use a premium hook if, if you can. So like the owner Daiichi Gamagatsu, uh, and some Mustad Ultra Points are good, they'd be the fourth choice, but those are the ones you want to look at. Uh, there are some new uh, Eriks and, uh, Tro and Trocar and some of the higher end partridge hooks. I, haven't, I don't have much experience with them because as you could probably tell, I'm cheap. Um, <laughs> so I've had really good luck with those Bass Pro Shop hooks. And when I get 25 of them for 7.95 versus five of them for 7.95, which one am I gonna pick up when I can't tell the difference and I've had no problem hooking fish with the cheaper version. Uh, and then color, we talked about that. Clear water, more natural stuff. So that's a, this is a nice clear water fly. And this is a nice off-colored water flow. 